everyone. Time again for another Willie's Ramblings and Pickup Video. I've uh, been really busy over the past few weeks since the last time I made one of these. Uh, where was I last week? Last week I visited Knoxville, hit one of my favorite stores, Ed McKay. Uh, been to a few other places that I can't recall right now. Just I'm all over the freaking place. But anyway, this coming week I'm heading to Chicago, so I'm hoping to... Uh, Hit up some stuff up there. I have been invited, I think I mentioned this last time, to visit Raw Thrills. So I'm going to check out their facility and uh, do an interview with them. So I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, I got some cool pickups. Uh, since the last time I did this uh, pickup video, my birthday happened. And I was sent some stuff for my birthday. Really appreciate everything I got. It's pretty awesome. One of the things I got from my buddy, uh, Joshua, from the Turtle Flakes podcast is the Art of Video Games book. This is a pretty neat little book. Basically it has a you know, history of art and stuff in video games. Pretty awesome little book. I was actually going to buy this. I'm glad I waited because he bought it for me for my birthday. Awesome! I visited Matt's Game Exchange again when I was heading to Knoxville. And I picked up a Atari Portfolio. Awesome. This thing is pretty cool. It's got some built-in applications like, you know, a calculator. It also has um, a notepad and personal planner, that kind of stuff. I want to try to find the Power Basic cartridge for this thing so I can program some stuff on it. I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Pretty neat little device. It's like one of the first palm, palm top PCs. It's got like a uh, MS-DOS operating system in it, so it's, it's really awesome. Oh, it just turned itself on. Well, I, I hit a key that turns on. But I got it with its actual book. And boy, is this a thick book. <laughs> Pretty awesome. My buddy Paul from the Intellivisionaries podcast sent me a super action controller for the Intellivision. Now... What's neat about this controller is it allows you to play the games where you have to either use two controllers to play, like for instance, uh, Tron Deadly Disc, you use one controller to run around the screen and the other controller to hit the number pads to shoot, because you can't really run and gun in that, in that game with one controller. Same thing with uh, Night Stalker as well. So, this will plug into your Intellivision. It has two outputs on it. Well, joystick uh, port 1, port 2. And basically, port 1 has the disc going to it, and port 2 has the keypad going to it. So you can play Tron and, and Night Stalker and some of these other games and actually run and gun. So I'm looking forward to trying this out right now. I'm searching for an Intellivision 2 so I can uh, try this out. Because i got a System 3, but... It doesn't have removable controllers like a Television 2 or a Sears video arcade. So I got to pick one of those up here so I can do a review of this video of this device. Pretty awesome. Picked up, what is this? Atari's Greatest Hits. Whoa. For the DS, this is Volume 1. Has some nice Atari games on here and some 2600 games. I'm trying to find Volume 2 right now. And then I was sent by my buddy Rick from the Intellivisionaries, an Intellivisionary Lives DS game. Now this is awesome. This is a really cool cartridge to have. At Ed McKay, I found a cool comic book. The Terminator. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. I picked this up for a bud of mine, because he's really into the Terminator. It's only a buck. Well, I went ahead and picked it up. It was cool. And of course, I picked up yet another vintage toy from my past I used to have. The Latrax Alpha RC car. This was the very first RC car I ever owned as a kid. It's got proportional steering, but it has just one speed, forward and reverse. It was originally called Clocks Products in Garland, Texas. It used to make this. Mine was blue. And I think they changed their name to Latrax later on and started putting out the car in, in this box here. 
So it's not the original one I had, but it's made by the same people. Pretty awesome little RC car. It's, it's pretty cool, actually, for what it is. I dig, you know, the technology of the 70s, especially with this one. In order for it to know where to steer the, the wheels on the car, it has a potentiometer wired in with the little electric motor. So it's a very, very early servo. It's pretty awesome what they did. And of course, my buddy Rob from the Turtle Flakes podcast gave me one of these. It's the Mail Away Star Wars figures from the 70s. Pretty awesome. Right now, Luke is AWOL. Don't know where Luke went. He was on there when he brought it, but he just kind of disappeared, so... Got to find Luke. So that's pretty cool. But that's pretty much all the pickups I've had uh, this period. So until next time, everyone, keep on gaming.